Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jess. Welcome. Please take a minute, pause this video and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well, which informs you of future uploads. Today's video is going to be a kind of a first impressions tutorial, lip swatching, uh, demo haul kind of video. Desi and Katie Frankation collection from A Dose of Colors. This is what it looks like. I picked up quite a few things from this collection. I got the palette, the two highlighters, and two of the lipsticks. One of each formula. Um, cannot wait to try this collection. So let's jump right into it. I already I can get my fingers into this palette. And we'll just we'll just we'll just dump that there. Oh my god, let me just say the packaging is killer. I'm not a packaging person, but this packaging definitely took my breath away. I really love the packaging. It's really cool the shades that really drew me to buy this palette was the very bright blue the green and the just a kiss shade in this palette which is gorgeous so i'm like you know not sure which one i'm gonna use today i'm pretty new to those color shadows um with the first collection i didn't get anything because it, it really didn't like call me but this palette called me and for the sake of the video, I wanted to get some of the lip colors to try them for you guys with the collection. And of course, the highlighters like literally took me into the website. We're going to go with the first shade, which is called Base. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set the lid only because I've watched quite a few of... Um, I've watched quite a few of tutorials using this palette. And... Uh, from what it looks like these shadows are extremely pigmented so for today's look I am going to go ahead and set the lid which is not something that I normally do I'm gonna go ahead and set the lid with the base shade just very lightly and this is like a perfect setting color um, as you can see, there is no kick up or anything in the palette. I'm going with the next shade, which is called Necessary for my transition color using the same brush. I am pretty familiar with their liquid lipsticks because I have a few of them and actually one of their liquid lipstick is my number one favorite nude lipstick which is the shade cork been using the shit out of that shade ever since I got it definitely recommend their liquid lipsticks they have pretty they have a pretty good um, formula on their liquid lipsticks switch my brush and go into a smaller blending brush gonna take the shade it's gonna be churro which is the brown in the palette the light brown not the dark brown I'm gonna go ahead and define the crease a little bit more we're gonna be taking this a little lower than the first shade that we put down These colors are extremely pigmented and I love that and also they're blending up pretty nicely too I'm going back with my first blending brush with no additional product just to help blend the shade out okay not sure what I want to put in the lid yet so let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line the first shade which is necessary as our transition color for the lower lash line I'm 
going back in with churro which is the second darkest brown in the palette You know what? I want to keep this look. Let's keep this look a little on the natural side because I'm going to be doing some lip swatching with the two shades. I'll do more videos with this palette and use the pop of colors in the palette. Going back in with the transition color and blend the edges of this churro shade okay let's go ahead and put just a kiss on the lid and when, with just a kiss I'm gonna use the fingers and just pop it on the lid i was so freaking excited about this shade oh my god so pretty This is initially the look that I wanted to do. And so I guess I'm doing it. Okay. Oh my god. Already obsessing over this look. Gonna be going in with the darker shade, which I'm pretty sure is Jeans. Yes, which is a very dark brown going in with a flat definer brush and just running this on the just run this on the upper lash line as well as the lower lash line like so and just lightly feather it up just to blend it okay that is freaking pretty freaking pretty gonna go back in with this small blending brush and blend Okay, that, that's pretty. Extremely pretty. Go back in with a little bit of churro. Just very lightly. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on and I'll be right back. Smoky and brown with just that hint of shimmer. Beautiful. These lashes are from Ardell, this is Demi Wispies. And of course, you guys know I use my current favorite mascara from Wonder Beauty in Unlashed. Um, love this mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lippy on. I'm gonna use the Expresso Liner from NYX. I got one of each in the lipstick so I got one of the liquid ones and one of the regular lipstick so I got the shade Aftermath and the shade My Main. Now I don't the reason I picked these two up is because these two look like they will more complement my skin tone and the other two are more like on the lighter side so I didn't want it to have to fix it with liner and all that so these two will look good on my skin tone so brown girl friendly. Um, yeah the packaging is like a rubberized, it's like slightly rubberized and I just freaking love the packaging. So let's get, let's get with the lip swatch.
So this is the shade My Main. I really, really love this. This is a really nice nude for me. As you guys can see, it looks really nice with this eye look. But the shade I was more excited about was the Aftermath shade, which is a little bit more on the darker side. So let's get into swatching that one. And this is the last shade um, lipstick that I picked up, which is called Aftermath. This one is the regular bullet lipstick and love the color. I knew this color was going to look good on my skin tone. Like I said, that's why I picked it up in the first place. And it looks really nice. It looks really nice with this eye look as well. Everything is all natural. So since we're all looking flat and matte, let's just get our glow on right now. Um, I got both highlighters from the... From this new launch um the fuego highlighter is actually a uh, is like a bring back from the first collection like i said i didn't get anything for the first collection so i decided to pick it up because if i saw one more person talk about fuego i will lose my shit and then the new one is chasing the sun which is supposed to be a little bit more on the golder side okay let me get rid of these plastic and fuego is supposed to be more of like a champagne gold color so let me just put them side by side so you guys can see. So this is what they look like. Um, this one, this one here is Fuego, and the darker one is Chasing the Sun. So you can see there is a bit of difference. The Chasing the Sun is more. It will work more on deeper skin tones. So I'm not gonna use that one today. I just want to use Fuego because your girl needs a little bit of Fuego in her life. And use my Luxie brush. The highlighter brush and um, this one is the 522 tapered highlighter brush we're gonna go in with the shade fuego today oh this is oh this is nice you guys oh this is nice definitely gives you a blinding highlight definitely not on the chunky side very wet look I'm gonna have to tame that down a little bit let me go ahead and use some of the chasing the sun more on the back side as you guys can see you're seeing that little cast there so it's a little bit on the lighter side for me I'm gonna go in with chasing the sun put that more on the back Chasing the Sun seems a little bit more like muted compared to Fuego where it's like it's like literally literally out there but Chasing the Sun is definitely more on the muted side. I'm gonna have to tame this down a little bit. Okay I'm gonna go back in with Fuego as my nose highlight. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of the nose A little bit on the bridge of the nose as well. Just like right at the top there. And a little bit there. Okay. Now, what I normally do with my highlighters when they're looking too intense like this tense but when you're seeing it like almost like sitting on the skin um i kind of like to go in with my beauty blender wet it with my setting spray go ahead and go over the highlighter this way the highlighter will look like if it's more like a glow from within what rather, rather than a stripe of glow on the face It looks more like a natural glow. Do you see the difference? Now you're not really seeing that cast from the side. It now is just making my skin look glowy. Actually, church and the sun is not showing up, so we're gonna go in with fuego. Ah, there we go. Just like pop a little bit of highlighter on the body since we have this kind of you know shirt out. If 
Quite goes pretty good, but um, there is other highlighters that is decently good as well, like the Rihanna highlighters. I think those are pretty nice. Um, but this did not disappoint. Let me just say it didn't disappoint me. So I'm not complaining at all. So that's that's cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I wanted to do more of a simple look with the first look that I'm going to film with this palette. There are going to be at least three more looks that I plan to film with this palette. Hopefully this Saturday I'll be able to film another look. Um, so the next tutorial that will be going up after this one will be a tutorial using the Desi and Katie palette. Um, definitely can't wait. Um, but I, I just wanted to do a more simple look because I, I'm doing the lip swatching today. And I really hope you guys enjoy the look. Very, very simple. Use three colors from the palette on the eyes. It is definitely the simplest look I've ever done on my channel simple but gorgeous as hell let me know if you guys picked up anything from the desi and katie collection everything will be listed down below as well as prices for these products that i used and also whatever i use on the face today i will be listing that down in my description box so go ahead and check it out don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet hit that notification bell this way you guys will be informed of future uploads and uh yeah i will catch you guys in a later video bye guys